They say good things come in three. First, you found the right man, he gave you the nice ring, and now it's time for the perfect wedding dress. Hi, and welcome to WatchMojo.com. I'm your host, Mihaela Koman, and today I'm at Ella Couture, where I'll be learning more about wedding dresses. So tell me a little bit about how many dresses somebody should try before picking out the final one. Well, the bride, usually when she gets proposed, she uh, she's very excited, so she wants to try on the whole store. But what we suggest is at least four to five dresses, and then we can narrow it down to the style she likes. And what are the styles? I heard there's maybe four styles. If the bride happens to be more bottom heavy, I suggest she goes with an A-line. If she's very full-figured, believe it or not, a mermaid dress would actually look very nice on her because it emphasizes her nice curves. Then you have the type of bride that likes princess. If you're petite and tall, princess is very, very nice. But every bride nowadays, they have an easier time to try anything and from there they make their choice. When she comes to the store, how many people should she bring with her or who should she come with? If she's seriously shopping, she should come with her mom or someone who's very important and close to her that gives her a, an opinion that she feels comfortable with. How long before your wedding should you come here so the dress is ready and so on? A year is maybe too soon because you want to do all the stores so you're still not too sure of what you're looking for. But if you cut it down to six to nine months it would be good. Can you speak to me a little bit about veils and headpieces? A lot of brides tend to not go for veils when they come for a wedding dress but the ones that do happen to have a choice either with a lace edging or with a satin edge. This is about an inch in width and then you have the one eighth of an inch width which is very thin very delicate. That depends the type of dress she buys. And the type of dress you buy does that get influenced by the veil or how does that work? As soon as a bride puts on a dress, you'll know what type of veil she will have to wear. We've come up with ideas to give to the bride, either putting brooches or flowers, or the way she puts her hair, she could put pearls in her hair, netting, rather than putting a veil. If she does tend to put a veil, we tend to choose something very simple if she's going to uh, dress up her hair with accessory so that after the ceremony she could remove the veil and be as comfortable as she would like. 